All right, Capricorn, let's get into your reading. Oh, all right, we have to be fair, flexible, and why, why, why? I'm seeing 33 and 11 for angel numbers right away. Um, something might not be balanced. You've been being very flexible uh, in this connection. You may want to start something like new or start over here. Um, I feel like you're asking a lot of questions. Why? Why did this happen? Why was this said? Why did they do this? Why, why, why? It wasn't fair. Something wasn't fair. And I feel like you're really like, why? 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 All right, let's see. Uh, what is Capricorn's person's overall energy? Capricorn's person. What's going on with Capricorn's person? Overall energy, please. Oh, I thought it was fork in the road. All right, chop wood. So your person actually wants to clean up a mess, put in some work, some effort, deep knowing. Seeing angel number 44 now. Um, I feel like your person is getting intuitive hits here. Yin. Oh, and soulmate. Go the distance, mending, unfinished business, happy, happy. Okay, and there's fork in the road. Yeah. Uh, there could have been a little bit of a crossroads between you and this person. I don't think it's done. I don't think it's done. I think this person, I'm seeing 222 two, two now, 11, 33. Um, I feel like this person wants to approach this with compassion, understanding, loving, caring, and nurturing energy. They have some kind of deep knowing now, maybe a realization, um, following intuition. Maybe they've learned something from this. Um, they want to put in the work and effort now. Let's get into it and find out what's going on here. Uh, Capricorn's person, current situation, current energy. What's going on for Capricorn's person? Capricorn, keep in mind, it is a general reading. When I say your person's energy, it could be yours, so feel free to flip-flop and reverse it as you see fit. Oh, the lovers, Gemini energy. They're, I feel like they had a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. They definitely had a wake-up call. They definitely had some kind of an epiphany. That you're it. You're their soulmate, Capricorn. You're the one for them. I feel like they want to move things into calmer waters. Double soulmate energy. They want that equal exchange of love here with the two of cups. They're making a decision here. Two of wands with justice, Libra energy. They've made a decision. They've made a decision. Now they want to be fair. Now they want to balance, balance the scales. Uh, and three of wands, they're waiting now for their ships to come in. They could be waiting to hear from you. Maybe you reach, they reached out to you. You left them on red. Didn't respond. I don't know. Let's see. What are they waiting for? What are they waiting for? Capricorn's person. Uh, they could have abandoned this connection or left you hanging at some point. I feel like now, Capricorn, they want to come back for some kind of a commitment or leveling up. Another soulmate, twin flame card, uh, four of wands, 11, 11, make a wish, wish is coming true, twin flame, soulmate, leveling up, uh, a reason to celebrate, house and home, Three of Pentacles, that's taking your thoughts, visions, dreams, everything in the 5D, turning it into reality, into the 3D, getting on the same page, working towards the same future. They might be starting to feel a little bit abandoned, left out in the cold without you. Um, I feel like we have, it could be another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they really want to own up, boss up. Uh, put in more work and effort here with that King of Pentacles. Wow, it's actually a pretty positive uh, reading. They want to reconcile this. Uh, so I have the, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, Judgment, Karma Card, uh, Scorpionic Energy, Justice, Libra Energy, and King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, what was blocking this? Ooh, did they have a secret? 
High Priestess, or they weren't following their intuition on this, and now they are. They've had an epiphany, an aha moment, a wake-up call here. Blockages, blockages for Capricorn. <laughs> Maybe they couldn't make up their mind at some point or make a decision here. <clears throat> you may have cut them off. <clears throat> Sorry. Blockages. Maybe they, they didn't know what they wanted at the time or they couldn't make a make a decision. They weren't following their intuition. What is this? What is this? Blockages for Capricorn. Scorpionic energy, death, rebirth, transformation, and ending for a new beginning. Oh, they may have been holding on. Why are your cards like flying out? They may have been holding on to something from the past, or they were separating from a connection or a situation from the past, and they just couldn't give you what you deserved. Could have been an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Knight of Cups, Pisces. Oh, is this another, they thought the grass was greener, they made some kind of love offer, or went back to somebody from the past, or... Hmm. They could have been stuck in a commitment here, Capricorn, or on their way from like a separation, a divorce, something like that. So they couldn't, they couldn't give you what you wanted. They couldn't give you that romantic love offer, that romantic gesture. Things couldn't change or transform or grow here because they were stuck in something. Yeah. Yeah. They were stuck in like a higher level of commitment. So they couldn't commit to you. I do feel like there's been progress though with that. And that that's why uh, you've been flexible. You've been waiting for this person. You've been fair to them. They haven't been fair to you. And I feel like maybe you kind of pulled your energy back here and that gave them that wake up call. I feel like they are proceeding um, with that separation or whatever, leaving the other person behind. It could have been a marriage with kids, things like that. I don't think it was the easiest thing for them to just close the door and walk away from. For some of you, for others of you, you could have been in a commitment with this person and maybe they wanted a break or a time out or something here. I don't know. All right, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you, Capricorn? What are their emotions towards you? How does this person feel about Capricorn? Two of Swords, yeah. They see you as making a head over heart decision here. <laughs> you ghost them. Did you ghost them? Did you block them, Capricorn? The Hermit Virgo energy. There you are, Capricorn. Clean up. You are unbothered. They think you are unbothered by this. You turned your back. You blocked them, ghosted them, cut them off. They think you're unbothered by it. You are bothered by it, but I feel like Capricorn, you guys do not wear your emotions on your sleeve at all, at all. And usually when you're done with somebody, you're done with somebody. Once you hit that limit, you are, uh -uh, I'm done. And that's how they feel. They feel like you completely cut them off. You completely cut them off. You're done. They are not done. You've been more than fair, more than flexible with this person, but you know, enough is enough. They can only string you along for so long, right? Three of wands, waiting. Waiting to take a leap of faith to make this decision, I should say. They feel like you're waiting to make a decision here on whether or not you should take a leap of faith. I feel like they're ready now, they're finally ready. All right, Aries energy with the fool to have victory and success here. They feel like if you guys both take this leap of faith towards each other, there will be victory and success. They see you 
Um, I feel like they admire you. They see your strength. They see you shining. How else do they feel? How else do they feel about Capricorn? How else do they feel about Capricorn? All right. Well, yeah, there's some sexual desire. They see you fun, flirty, outgoing, adventurous, spontaneous, having fun, feeling good about yourself, confident. They want to move things forward. There's a lot of attraction here with this person towards you, uh, Capricorn. There's also emotions, okay? So I, I'm not feeling like this is just sex-based. This is just selfish. All they want is that from you. No, they actually had like some kind of a wake-up call. Like, you are it. You are the one. Yeah, they want to build with you. They want to plant seeds with you. Some of you, they want to plant baby seeds with you because I did see the Empress here. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles. So they may want to start a family if, if that's where you guys are at. If not, blend the families. If not, they just want to build a life with you, I feel like. All right, let's see. Potential outcome. Capricorn, what are you going to do? Keep in mind, you have free will, so do they. So that could change the outcome here. So and I'm also not here to tell you what to do. I feel like if there was a divorce on the table with somebody else, I don't know why your cards keep falling out in clumps. The Chariot, Cancerian Energy, Justice, Libra Energy. Either you're calling, you know, what's fair is fair here, and then, okay, then we can move forward. Um, or this person, if they were getting a divorce, they're moving forward with that here. All right, what else? What else? King of Pentacles, King of Swords. <laughs> you're still going to be cut off towards them, I feel like. Um... Could also be an air sign that you're dealing with. Uh, King of Swords, King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Pisces Energy. They're gonna apologize. You're gonna you're gonna get an apology. <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> Why so cold? I mean, uh, I'm sure you have your reasons. Um, you might reject them. Not permanently, though. It's not permanent. You're going to say, all right, I need to just think about this. Give me a minute. Let me let me think it through. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. I'm, I'm confused. I don't know. Are you going to just reject me again? Or is this going to really actually be manifested this time? Let me just... Let me just pull my energy back for a minute and think about this, but <clears throat> I, I, I think your uh, yeah, communication, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, long communication, not that you guys are into that, but I feel like it's going to be a deep conversation, a good one. Um, that I feel like this is going to make you happy, Capricorn, I do. I have nothing here as of right now saying run, you know, <clears throat> I feel like this person is coming back very genuine towards you. You're, you're a wish fulfillment. You're a wish fulfillment to this person. Yep. And they're going to bring truth, clarity, honesty here. Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. They're going to put in the work and effort. They want to build this life for you. Some of you, they want to start a family with you. Or they're going to treat you as this empress or emperor that you are. And move things forward. They've had a realization after this tower moment came in. After this drama, they want to reignite the flame. They want a stable new beginning. They see the strength, courage, and confidence here. They want to transform this. I mean, what are you going to do? 
I feel like most of you are gonna, I feel like most of you are gonna, I don't really see a resistance here other than you saying, you know what, either let's take this really slow, let me think this through, let me gain some kind of clarity or change my perspective here or get over, you know, uh, a fear of, uh, can I trust you? Are you just going to up and leave and do this again? Is this really true? It, can I believe this? Basically, pinch yourself, you know? Um, so, I don't know. I see uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Leo, Scorpio, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, and this last last amount that came out all right biggest obstacles the lovers <laughs> oh it's almost like i'm uh, like the tables turn capricorn like you saw it felt it knew it at the beginning and then all this went down they woke up now they see it know it feel it too and now you're kind of questioning it so it's kind of like is this really a soulmate? Is this really who I'm supposed to be with? Overcoming the stress, exhaustion. This person may have put you through it past lives. And that is why you guys may have shared another life together at some point. And this was, you. we were meant to cross paths. All right, and that's where free will comes into play. We have choices. We can choose whatever we want and not listen to our intuition. And that's, you know, but what's meant for you is meant for you, you know. All right, outcome, results, conclusion, ending. You will soon get a resolution. Mirroring, reflection, twin, wholeness, synchronicity abounds. Crossroads, divergent paths, choices, confusion. Follow your intuition. Self-worth, value, self-esteem, confidence. See, that, that's the problem. You know you're, oh, it's not a problem. It's not a problem, but that's where this disconnect is happening. You know your value. You know your worth. Did this person or do they really see that? And, you know, you got to kind of stand up for yourself. So uh, compromise, mutual understanding, flexibility, give and take brings rewards. Karmic partner, conventional relationship, duty, bound by societal conventions. All right, what would this person like to say to you, Capricorn? What would they like to say? I want you. I will wait for a sign from you. I remember every detail of that day. I want to be more than friends. <laughs> see? See, 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 see. I lost myself for a little while. My life is not together as it seems. I wish I could share my good news with you. All right, they're gonna be telling you something good. I'm starting to understand our connection. I regret lying to you. <gasps> I love you. Ah, Capricorn. I don't know, some of you are like, uh-uh, no way, no. Mm -mm. You're crazy tarot reader lady. Uh-uh. I ain't taking this person back. Use your own discernment. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Um, all right. Letters could be first, middle, last name, initials, could spell a name, could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. All right, I have U K Z H V C A O X I T G. JD. I'm also seeing B E S. All right. So B E S U K Z H V C A O X I T G D J. All right. Numbers could be birthday, anniversary, uh, number of days, weeks, months, years. Could be an angel number, could be an age or a date of significance. Place it where you see fit. All right. We have one, five, six, Eight. So it could be the 1st, the 15th, the 16th, the 18th, the 5th, the 6th, the 8th of any month. Um, it could be January, May, June, or August. Zodiac signs. Um, could be their uh, star sign, sun sign. Could be strong placements in their charts. Something could happen during that season, like Capricorn season, for instance. All right, we have Leo, Virgo, Virgo, and Taurus. Roll the other Virgo here, Pisces. 
All right, Leo, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus. A lot of other energies did come out, you guys. Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Libra. Could be anybody, but um, take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, um, Capricorn, that is what I have for you this week.